why if we don't develop cancer, all of us, is because we have protective system, we have antineoplastins who will immediately force these malignant cells to die by working on the genes. So over the course of the last eight years, annual MRIs have confirmed all that's left of the tumor is scar tissue, and I've been off treatment for that entire time. So Dr. Brzezinski cured me of a brain tumor. It's as if she had a bacterial infection and Brzezinski treated it with antibiotics. The FDA has made a list and decided who can live and who will die. I guess I didn't make that list. I have had no chemotherapy. I chose Dr. Brzezinski instead after a lot of research and a lot of searching. I was told that the chemotherapy that I could have would work for a while, but there was no cure for my cancer. I've been in remission since 1989. Now the FDA is saying to me, no, your doctor is a criminal, he should be put in jail, and he needs to be shut down. This is criminal. 1991, the National Cancer Institute sent a panel of experts to Houston, and they determined that in each case of advanced brain cancer, Dr. Brzezinski's treatment caused anti-cancer effect. I should also point out there has never been an allegation, concern, or a whisper that his treatment is harmful or toxic, unlike many conventional drugs. It constitutes nothing less than one of the worst abuses of the criminal justice system I've ever witnessed. An MRI six weeks after we started Dr. Brzezinski's treatment revealed no tumor. We were very overjoyed. a government institution that disseminates false information and is not looking out for the welfare of the people. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I swore an oath 11 years ago, and I think most of us in this room swore it at one time or another to uphold the Constitution. It says life right in the beginning. 